YouTube was good. Um, it's Coach Rod. I want to talk about when to make it official. Uh, one of my supporters had uh, reached out to me, and she also a friend of mine. She uh, come in and reached out to me, and she wanted me to do a video on uh, when to make it official. And uh, so I felt led to do that. And um, I felt within my spirit that it would be a good thing to do because a lot of women need to notice some things I'm going to say. And this stuff right here that they're going to tell y'all is going to keep y'all from getting in foolish situations. First of all, I want to say this here. You got five stages in the relationship. You got the talking stage, the dating stage, the relationship stage, and that's when it's official. Y'all officially a couple and y'all exclusive. The engagement, and then marriage. You, you should only be dating with the purpose of getting married. If you're not, listen, this is my opinion. It's just me. Now, if you, you just want to be a career dater, you want to date, that, you know, to have sex or whatever, sleep around, have fun. You just keep doing that. You're going to keep getting the same results you're getting. But if the ones who want something serious, who tired of the game, you've done that, you're tired of being a career dater, you want something serious, you're tired of being with toxic people, you're tired of being with the same type of people who ain't going on well, who just wasting your time, this is for you. You, The only reason why you should be dating is to collect data to see if this person is your soulmate or your purpose mate or this person is the one that you want to spend the rest of your life with. And other than that, if that person don't want the same thing you want, then hey, keep it moving. And that's the thing I want to let y'all know. You have to establish that for yourself. I'm only dating to collect data, to, to get to know this person, to see are they my soul mate or my purpose mate. Now, it was a female at this question, so this video is pretty much to females, but I know some men watch. So if I got any man watching, just revert it. The same thing I tell the women, the same thing apply to you. So this is just an example of how you know it should go. Just say you at the mall, you at the mall or you at Walmart, and this guy come up to you, and he say, "Hey, how you doing? Um, my name is so and so, um, and I just want to come up here and just let you know that you're a nice looking young lady, and uh, I want to ask you a question: Are you single? If you're single and you're, and you're available, say, "Yeah, I'm single." And then if he should say, you know, this is just an example. It, ain't, it don't got to be like this, but just, I'm just trying to paint a picture. That's all I'm trying to do. So if you say you're single, then he asks for your number. Can I have your number so I can call you so we can talk, get to know each other? If you are interested, if you see that he's somebody that you, you that you, you are date, if you see that, you know, he's handsome, you know, because I understand, you know, women have their type like men. I get that. So if, if, you know, if, if he approach you in a respectful manner, you tell him, okay, okay, that's fine. Now, you may not feel comfortable giving your number out to somebody you don't know. So that you might tell him, hey, um, just follow me on Facebook. And then you won't start off inboxing me. You can do it that way too. So it all depends on you. Some women may not feel comfortable giving a man their number. They don't know. So if you don't, you might just want to say, hey, you know, just look me up on Facebook, whatever, and send me a friend request, and then inbox me, whatever, and y'all start by that right there. But whatever way you feel comfortable for you, but if you want to give me a number, whatever, but that now that's the beginning of the talking stage, so you give him your number. If you want to take his number, you take his number, but you give him your number, and he call you first. He does the pursuing. He call you first. You don't call him. And the reason why I say that because when a man see you making the first call and you start off calling in the beginning, he gonna he gonna look at you like, oh okay, and he might be like, man, she she, she might want some, you know, she desperate, and, and right then and there, you already taught that man that he don't have to work for you, that he he don't have to value you, that you are gonna do everything, and a lot of women don't don't get this here. I saw, you know, a guy do a video, and a lot of people know him, a lot of people follow him, and he was saying, oh, you should approach the men sometime, too, and I saw the comment, a lot of women saying, hey, I don't mind approaching the men, 
A lot of women say, I approach my husband, we married, and look what like I told you before. Don't believe every woman that be posting this stuff about their marriage and their relationship. Most majority of them are not happy. They because you hear a woman say she approached a man and she got her husband that way and they they happy. Don't believe everything these women say. I told y'all before, I have coached women. One minute the man cussing them out, next minute they got them on social media. Talking about they boo. So everything women put on social media is, is, is not, <laughs> trust me, it's not always true. So he called you first. He pursued you first. And as he pursued you, as he called you, that's the time for you. Don't get all excited. This is what women make up make a mistake at. You get all excited because the man pursuing you. He being very charming. On the first day, he brought flowers. You say, ooh, girl. You tell your girlfriend, girl, he brought flowers. Girl, girl. You get all hyped up because he doing all this here. It's only the beginning. You just met this man. What y'all women don't understand is you got you to gotta get this man time. And you want to look at his consistency. They got he started off doing all those things. He could be doing that just to get you in the bedroom. And you all excited. Good. You got a man on Facebook the first date. You got a man on Facebook. The first date. I'm on a dinner date. When you go on the first date with somebody, it, Facebook need to know that. That between you and that man. Y'all women do this crap all the time. Some of y'all gonna get mad at me. God bless you. I love you. But I see it all the time. The first date, you on Facebook with the man. Tell everybody your business. Putting it out there like that right here. And, and you, make yourself, you make yourself look bad. You make yourself look bad. And this man, you ain't even talk to this man. You don't know this man want the same thing you want. Y'all just going on a date and you just happy. Because you got a man. Like I said in my last video. Somebody going to take it the wrong way like that person did. There's nothing wrong with desiring a man. But when you get caught up for a man. This is what happens when you get caught up for a man. When all your emphasis is on a man. This is what happened. You put them on Facebook the first day, and y'all ain't even talk. The first conversation, the first conversation before you do all that Facebook, before y'all even go on a date. Remember what I said? Talking stage, date stage, relationship, engagement, and marriage. The talking stage is the most important part of the relationship. Y'all got to be building the foundation. If y'all can't build no connection during the talking stage, it shouldn't even go to the dating stage. So, you want to ask questions. According to your core values and your core belief. Those are the questions you want to ask. This is just an example. If you if, if, if you're a Christian and, and, and your core values and core belief is a man supposed to provide and protect, you want to ask that question during the talking stage. And you don't want to come straight out and say, hey, do you believe in providing and protecting? Of course he's gonna tell you, oh yeah, I believe in that. He know what you want to hear. So he's gonna lie and tell you that. So you just want to hold a conversation. And don't just come out telling me everything about you. Yeah, I want me a girlfriend, man. The first thing y'all women do is make a mistake. Soon y'all get on the phone. Yeah, um, I'm, looking, I'm looking for a girlfriend, man. A man that go to church, a man that love my kid, blah, blah, blah. You tell him, you tell him everything you want to hear. Now he's going to play the role of what you just said. Don't talk too much too soon. Hold a general conversation. And you can tell if you're a girlfriend woman and you want a girlfriend, man, you can tell by his conversation. Just by a conversation. If you're on the phone cussing out a baby mama, everything's a cussing word, you already know he ain't no girlfriend man. Because a girlfriend man don't talk like that. So during the talking stage, you should just cut it all right there. It shouldn't even go to no dating stage. Because why? He doesn't meet your values. You you, you know, another example. If you believe in a man put a and protect, and a lot of that's a traditional woman. You believe a man's supposed to lead, you want a man to lead, okay. You want to ask that question. And you don't want to throw it out there. You, you don't want to just ask like, hey, you want to just throw it out there. Man, you know, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just on Facebook. I see a lot of people going with that 50-50 stuff. Going half on date. Just put it out there like that right there. And don't say nothing about it. I'm telling you, he, he gonna, if, he, if, he, if he agree with that, he going to say, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that. It, equal right. We want equal right. He going to tell you this how he feel. 50-50. They want equal right. Then, okay, when you hear that, you like, you're on the side of the phone, shaking your head like they're ready. Mm, okay. Now, what you got to do is get off the phone. Hang the phone up. Brother, here, listen, listen. Here's, we done talked for a couple of minutes, and I see right now, you know, you're not what I'm looking for. That's it. Don't argue with him. Don't try to prove to him that he's supposed to provide and protect women. Don't do that, because you ain't going to change his mind. Just hang the phone up. 
it shouldn't even go to the dating stage. Doing the talking stage, if y'all can't build that connection without him on the phone, if he can't have a mature conversation without talking sexual and that dirty talk all the time, don't even go with the dating. Just hang it up. Cut it off right there. Because you already know he does not meet your values and your core belief. If you are a Christian, you want to know, does he have the same belief as you? That's what you want to know. If, 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 he, if he believes something other than Jesus Christ and all that right there, cut it out. So many women are married to a man who don't go to church and now they mad. And I'm going to say this again. I'm not knocking Jehovah's Witnesses. I'm not saying Jehovah's Witnesses is a false prophet. But if you are a Christian, you should marry a Christian. Christian women are married to Jehovah's Witnesses. Y'all married to all these Muslims and all these people with different beliefs. Now you get mad because they don't want to go to church. Hello? Y'all don't have the same core belief. You can't expect them to go to church with you. Now you now you're in church by yourself on Sunday. You wish you had your man there. Y'all ain't on the same page. So many women marrying men who don't even go to church. Who don't even I mean, oh, I believe in God. I'm spiritual. Okay. That's good. That's good. But do you go to church? If you want that as a woman, if you require a man to go to church and worship with you, the same God. That's what you go by. So once all that been established during the talking stage, you've been talking to this man, y'all values, y'all beliefs are the same. That man has been suing you. He's been showing you interest. You know, he he, he calling. He, you know, he's not, he's not, he, listen, he's not calling you one day and three days later he's calling you again. If he, if he, if he approach you, right, he said he want to get to know you. You saw him at the mall. He said, hey, I want to get to know you. Okay. So you want to get to know me then, you pursue me then. I'm the woman. You want to get to know me, you pursue me. So as he call you, he literally should call you once a day. And a real man should ask you, okay, you know, what, what the best time to call you? Like y'all had a first phone conversation. You know, if he really trying to get to know you, what the best time to call you? Hey, you might say, well, call me after five at five. At five o'clock, he need to be calling you. And y'all need to talk in the beginning at least Every day. Well, I ain't got time. I'm too busy. Listen, you want a man, you got to make time for a man. If you that busy, then maybe you just ain't ready for no man. So, at least in the beginning, at least once a day, he need to be calling you and y'all need to be talking. And you need to be hearing what this man saying and he need to be hearing what you saying. Y'all got to be on the same page. Then if, if, then, then if you're impressed with the way he talk and he been consistent, then he should say, hey, let, let's go out. I'm going to take you out. Then y'all start dating, spending time with one another. So you don't want to rush to just start dating with somebody and you ain't really talking a lot with him. Because when you start dating, when he start giving you flowers on a date and start doing the romantic stuff, as a woman, you're going to get caught up and like, oh man, he's so, but you ain't even talk to this man that much. Y'all ain't, the talking stage, we, we, we even, y'all want to talk one time and already dating already? Y'all got to talk before y'all start dating. That way you ain't killing no time. That way you ain't got no time to be wasting on somebody going on a date with somebody. And you already know that this ain't going to work. Because he talking crazy. This ain't going to work. So once y'all start dating, again, he's paying. He's paying. You don't go in your purse. A real man, a real man ain't going to let you go in your purse and pay for nothing. You don't pay for get your hair done. You don't went to the store and buy that expensive makeup. You don't, you don't pay to get your nail done and all that. You looking good and you're going to let this man tell you you got to pay half, pay your portion of the, the day? No. You don't pay nothing. Like I said, I did a video before. My man, my man Tony Gannon said, hey, just offer to make the man think that you're not. You don't agree with that? That's fine. But if you agree with that, yeah, you're going to offer. But if you offer, again, if you offer and he take your offer and have you pay your portion of the day, pay your portion of the day, and never talk to him again. That's it. Never talk to him again. Because you already know. He told you on the phone. That you know. He believe in the man. Because this is what someone do. Yeah. I believe in the man. Put a vitamin me tech. I believe in all that. You know. I'm a good man. Blah blah blah. All that good stuff. Now on the day. He talking about. Well, uh, you got to pay your portion of the bill. Okay. Don't argue with him. Don't argue with him. Here you go. Put your, your debit card. Your money. Whatever. Okay. I got it. No problem. That's it right there. In your mind, that's it. And when you get home, call them and say, hey, bro, you ain't the one for me. However you want to say it, I'm just, I'm just saying it like I, I would say it. But however you want to say it, this ain't going to work. 
And that should be the last date. Now, but if he paying for the dates and he pursuing you at least for three months, listen, no sex. Don't open your legs up. Because y'all don't understand this. Because, see, you think, uh, oh, man, he, he, he pay my bills. He, he, he buy me a car. He, he doing all these things. And, and, and he doing all this. He, I know he love me. No, he don't. You, you got your legs open. That's why he doing all that. Keep your leg closed. Because I'm, I'm going to tell you this here about a man. If a man got the wrong intentions, he's not going to last three months but not doing that right there. And, and keep on being consistent and dating you, trying to get to know you. If he got the wrong intention, he going he gonna to start. What he, he going to start doing? He, he going to start leaving you as an option. You're not going to be a priority no more. Now, at first, you was a priority because he was trying to get you. Now, he's trying to pay on the dates, sending you flowers, and he's doing all those good things. Like I said, a man's supposed to do. And never wrong with a man doing that. But the sex, though. No sex. No sex. That's the thing y'all women don't get. And this is why a lot of women, like a woman coming on my video a couple days ago. Oh, I read this man five years. We got kids together. And we still ain't married. We don't want to get married. He don't want to get married. You know why? Because she started off opening her legs up. Having sex with that man. This is what a lot of women do. Start off dating. Laying in the bed with their legs open. And then all of a sudden now I want a relationship. You don't do it that way. This is what y'all be going wrong. You get your man your body first. Then, now you want to have standards. Oh, I got standards. I can't keep doing this right here. Oh, I, I, I got to live right. You should have been doing that before. This is why a lot of women are married right now and they married to a grown boy. Because they start out having sex. And Christian women. Oh, we got to cut this off and get married because we sin it. That's where you're messing up at. So, three months of him consistently doing what he's been doing. Making you a priority. He paying for the dates. You know, he, you know, he make you feel important. He's doing all those things. I ain't talking about paying your bills or nothing like that. You pay your own bills. But he's doing things like paying for the dates, you know, sending flowers and stuff like that for three months. And then he talking good. He's talking good. He's telling you that, hey, man, you the one for me. Because uh, if a man really into you, he going to tell you. If a man know his wife, he going to tell you in the beginning. Because uh, most men know, and most men have said this. The first time I talked to her, I knew she was my wife. So he's going to be talking like that, and he's going to be telling you, and he's going to be showing you. And if he's not telling you and showing you those things within those three months of y'all dating, you got to see him wonder how he feel about me. I wonder, do he really want to go to the next level with this? Where are we going? If you got to wonder where you're going, y'all ain't going nowhere. Because he's going to tell you and show you he, he's serious about you. If you got to wonder when, you know, uh, uh, he going to say we are official, chances are he don't want you. You just wasting your time. Because if, if he wants you, he will be making it known that, listen, man, I've been talking to you for a while now. I really enjoy you. I can talk to you about anything. We, we, I enjoy our conversation. You know, you're a beautiful woman. And, you know, I believe I found the one. You know, he'll be talking like that and everything. If he ain't talking like that. Mm-mm. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. Because you got to sit here and wonder, I wonder when he going to ask me to be official. I wonder when he going to ask me us to be exclusive. I wonder when I'm, I wonder what the status of this relationship. These are questions y'all be asking me. You got to ask me, like, when should I ask a man the status of, what the status of our relationship? You sitting there wondering all that, chances are, that man don't want you. He don't want you. He just wasting your time. So when all this stuff's taking a place, the man is being consistent. For at least a good three months. And you ain't slept with that man. He, he, he keep doing it. And, and, and keep being faithful to you. Whatever. Uh, uh, not faithful. But um, you know. Consistent with his pursuit. Well faithful is. Yeah faithfulness is part of that too. But you know. He, he continue to be. You know. Consistent with his pursuit. Showing you and telling you. Okay. Now. He put to say. Hey you know. Let, let's take it to the next level. Or you might just need to throw it out there and say, hey, you listen here, brother, you know, three months, and uh, <laughs> where we going? Where we going? And listen, listen, y'all be killing me with this right here. Listen. But if I say that, he might get he might get mad and run off. He might get scared and run off. I don't want to run him out. A grown boy going to run. A real man ain't going to go nowhere if you ask him. That's your life. You, you got the right to know about your life. That is your life. If you want to leave and run, let him go. And see, that's how you know you're not caught up for a man. When you can ask these questions 
and not be afraid. But when you're afraid to ask a question about your life, you call out for a man and you're thirsty. You can get mad how you want to go, hey, no, 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 no. Because I know I'm going to get some comment for the thirsty women, like the other one who coming the other day. But you, you listen, you ain't got to see him worry about you running on real man, no. Mm -mm, you ask him, what's going on here, brother? Where we going? Where we going? I know you, you talked to me before. You said you, you looking for a wife. You you know, you say you dating for a marriage and all that kind of stuff. Three months here now, what's going on? If he telling you all this, oh, you know, uh, 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 I ain't ready right now, and all these excuses studying when he talk, let it go. And this is why I say don't sleep with him because it's much easier for you to, to break off with a guy who you never gave your body to. Because why? I talked about soul tie because you're not soul tied with him. You didn't form that soul tie. And like I said in my soul tie video, whenever you sleep with somebody, you form a soul tie. Regardless of y'all married or not, you form a soul tie. And when it's done outside of marriage, it's an ungodly soul tie. When it's done inside of marriage, it is a godly soul tie. Now, you ain't got that soul tie. And that's why I say don't sleep with them. Now, some of y'all might say, well, Korah, ain't no question. That, that's your decision. But I'm telling you now, if you do that, that's going to be a mistake. And it could be some consequences. And don't look at all these comments, well, I sleep with my man and, and, and we married. Don't, don't, trust me, that don't mean, I'm trying to tell y'all, lady, every, every woman come on here with these comments. Don't believe them. Don't be the man one be getting dogged out because I coach some of them. Coach some of them. I know one minute they praising their man on social media, next minute they getting punched in the face, getting cussed out. So don't believe that. So this is how you know it's supposed to be official. When, when that man is pursuing you consistently, you ain't sleeping with that man. Because a man can do that when you're sleeping with him. That's my point. But if you ain't sleeping with a man and he's still doing all this for him, okay, y'all be official. Y'all be official. You know, hey, let's make it official. Boom. You know, now y'all in a relationship. And that's how it's supposed to go. But once you know that y'all got the same purpose, that y'all don't talk, y'all don't date it, this man been consistent towards you, this man been... Dating you, he been paying, and he been, you know, and, and, and showing you interest, making you a priority. He ain't, you know, he ain't calling one day, and the next five days he ain't calling. Because when he not calling you, he calling Susie, because Susie got her leg wide open. And then he'll call you when when, when, when he done with Susie, or when, when he's all the other options, now nah, he gonna call you. But as long as he consistent, he, you know, and, and both y'all on the same, both y'all on the same page, both of y'all walking together on the same page, make it official. Make it official. And that's what I feel about that. Hey, it's tight, but it's right. Eddie Coach Rock, God bless you.